Good morning and happy Sabbath, kids. My name is Mercy. My story this morning is entitled, Mother's Scars. A story of a little boy named Ado. Ado is from Nigeria. Who among you here from Nigeria? It's a very, very far place from Canada. Nigeria lies along the Atlantic Ocean in the borders of Western Africa. When Ado was a baby, there was a huge fire in their house in Africa. That was in Nigeria. The neighbors shouted, Fire! Fire! Alerting Ado's mom that her tiny touch home was on fire. Flames shoot from the roof and walls and a smoke filled the hut. Ado's mom managed to escape. But then, she realized that her baby boy, Ado, was still inside the house. Ignoring the flames and thick smoke that bailed out of the doorway, she ran into the house to rescue her baby. The neighbors shouted, Oh no, don't go, you're gonna burn, you're gonna die. But Ado's mom ignored what the neighbors said. She ran into the house to rescue her baby Ado. Neighbors held their breath as seconds passed and the flames grew brighter. At last, Ado's mom emerged from the burning hut with her baby Ado held close to her body. The little one Ado was safe, but mother had been burned on her arms and face. In time, most of her wounds healed. But her once beautiful face was forever scarred by the fire. Well, when Ado grew to be a strong boy, he noticed that his mom's face did not look like other's mother's face. But he did not ask why. Someone had told him the story of how his mom had saved him from the fire when he was a baby. But he did not realize that the scars on his mom's face had come because of her love to him. One day, when Ado was playing with his friends, someone made fun of, mom, of his mom's face. The boys laughed. <laughs> his mom was so ugly. They ridiculed him. They bullied him so much. But Ado ran home so his friends would not see the tears foaming in his eyes. He was sad. He was crying beside their house. Ado hurried into his hut and sat down. When his mom came in, she could see that her usually happy boy, Ado, was quiet. Is something wrong, my son? she asked. Ado thought for a moment. And then asked, Mom, what happened to your face? Ado asked, Why do you ask, my son? Mom said, Stepping a bit, trying to be calm. The boys, one of them, told another boy that he was ugly, like Ado's mother. Ado blurted out, What happened to your face, Mom? He asked again. Mom was quiet for a moment. Then she stood out and walked to her drawer and pulled something out. She gave it to Ado. It was a photograph of a beautiful young woman. Ado studied the picture and then looked at his mom's face. It, is, is that you, mom? he asked. Yes, that's me, my son, she said. It was taken before the fire. Ado knew about the fire. He knew that his mom had pulled him from his bed and saved his life. But he had not thought about what the unselfish act had caused her. Ado stood and hugged his mom. Now he understood his mom had risked everything for him. Without her unselfish act, he surely would have died in that fire. It was no longer scarred and wrinkled to him. It was beautiful. It was the face of love. Ado squeezed his mom tightly. He hugged her. 
so tight, and they cried together. Mom, she said, he said, I love you. To me, you are beautiful, even more beautiful than your picture. Well, boys and girls, Jesus loves us too. He loves us enough that he carries his cars from the day that he saved you and me and everyone in the world from the fire of sin. He has his cars on his hands, his feet, and his side where the sword spears him. And likely he has his cars on his back and on his knees, in his head. Jesus could have gone back to his Father in heaven without dying for us. But he loves us so much that he could not bear the thought of spending eternity without us. He knew that if he did not die for us, we would all die without him. When Ado sees his mom's cars, we remind him how much she loves him so much. And when he think about Jesus' scars, we remember Jesus' love for us. We can say, thank you, Jesus, together. I want you to do that. Do you? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your great sacrifice. You love us so much, Jesus. You died for us. Because you want us to be with you in heaven someday. Please help us to love you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, kids, and have a wonderful Sabbath. Bye.